Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed our pleasure to have with us this evening as our chief guest, the Honourable Chief Minister of Gujarat, Mr. Kaurav He's one of the heroes of Indian IT, who along with six founders of HCL, scripted the story of the company taking it to steep heights. A lead architect of the Indian IT sector, he uh, chartered the course of the IT industry in such a way that this today contributes more than 7% to India's GDP. He stands out from the rest as he gave India a homegrown PC product and established the HCL PC brand globally. He played a key role in driving India's IT hardware and electronics industry and because of his endeavors, the government of India has been able to seriously look at the IT hardware and electronics industry. Hailing from a small town, Jabalpur, he has been honored with the Padma Bhushan in 2011, even as the list of his achievements and honors is long and unending as he inspires thousands of entrepreneurs today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Mr. Ajay Chaudhary, one of the founders of HCL and former chairman of HCL in Systems. Congratulations, Mr. Chaudhary. May I request you to please say a few words? I am deeply honored to receive this award, both as a member of HCL, the IT community, and as a proud Indian. When I was preparing the speech, I found myself reminiscing over the past, over those humble beginnings of what became HCL. Sometimes arduous and sometimes rewarding. And I think that's what's led us to this moment. There are many stories I could tell you about the past, anecdotes about our company going from small to growing to large. I could, but I didn't want to take this opportunity to embrace and appreciate the past alone, but talk to you about the future instead. The future actually came upon me a month ago when I meet, met with a team of five young Indians, and they told me that they had formed a company to land a rover on the moon before December 2015 as part of the global Google Lunar X program. Think about that. They want to land a rover on the moon. Look at the dreams our young people are embracing today. Look at what they want to accomplish in the world. And they want to do it under the Indian flag. The idea struck me as incredible and beautiful and amazing. What an audacious plan for a startup company. What a star-touching dream for, a young, for young Indian minds, hungry and eager to compete with the best and the brightest in the world. It got me thinking. Why are we not looking at this kind of confidence and forward thinking in the hardware sector in India? I have always believed that Indians in India have the capability to do what they dream of. We just need to take the dream, push it, foster it, breathe life into it, and create a mindset that encourages at-home creativity. In 1976, six of us, and I'm very happy Shiv is here with us today, we started HCL and we had a dream. And the dream was, let's take the microprocessor and change the world. What did we have? 1.8 lakhs, a dream, and lots of passion. There were no VCs, and banks were loath to give loans to startups like us. What HCL did is well documented. But do you know that HCL created the first PC just when Apple was creating the world's first PC? We were a closed country, and little did we know that we were global pioneers. Starting with hardware, HCL also joined the software revolution, setting up country's pioneering software factory in 1980 in Chennai. So when I retired from HCL last year, we had grown to 6 billion and 90,000 employees, and another audacious dream had been achieved. But I have to be honest with you tonight. I have one deep-seated regret. After having initiated the hardware revolution in the country, we as our country lost our way. As we went around creating the fantastic software business, which now employs more than 3 million people, we just didn't pay enough attention to hardware. 
In 1999, the PM then, Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee, set up an IT task force to look at the state of IT. And it then, then just meant software. They said IT was just, just software. I was aghast. I went up to the task force and made a forceful presentation. And to their credit, they agreed to form a hardware task force, which I was part of. Since then, there have been two more committees that I have chaired on this subject. And finally, we have an electronics policy. But we need tremendous urgency to implement it. Why? Because electronics today forms the largest import into our country. It may seem like a pipe dream, but I still harbor a dream. My dream is to see India design its own products, manufacture them right here. Things like our very own mobiles, tablets, <coughs> medical devices, etc. A large country like ours that has the capability to innovate must unleash the power of our people to stand up and be recognized the world over for our very own electronic products, especially since electronics is strategic to a large country like ours. And of course we can do it. After all, India created the GSLV D5 and sent the Mangalyan to Mars and all of it with our own design and collaborative manufacturing by many Indian companies. So what's stopping us from doing it? Why can't we set up something similar to the space mission and do it in a well-defined time frame? It needs commitment, it needs deep, deep implementation capability, and un unleashing the innovative capacity of India. Hopefully, my dream will come to fruition soon, just as I would like to see the dream of these five people who want to land a rover on the moon by 2015 becoming a reality. Before I end, I, would, I want to thank all those HCLites who made my dream come true. <laughs> this award is dedicated to them. And thank you, jury. Thank you, Cyber Media. Thank you, PG, for faithfully documenting the progress of HCL since the early days. Shakespeare said it best. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but ourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chaudhary. Congratulations once again.